Here's my top 20 Football Manager 2023 wonder kids in the attacking midfield centre position, starting off with Miguel Monslave. This 18-year-old Colombian has an asking price of around £1.8 million at the start of the game, has a balanced personality and is described by the media here as an attacking midfielder. He's got great first touch, brilliant technique as well as flair, strength and natural fitness. His potential ability in this current save is 150, just on the borderline to becoming a wonder kid. But we do see a couple of red flags when we look under the bonnet in terms of consistency and injury proneness. In at number 19 is Cesar Palacios. Another player who in this save has a potential ability of 150 and again this 17 year old Spanish attacking midfielder has a balanced personality and a media description here of attacking midfielder. Available for around the two million pound mark and he's playing for Real Madrid at the B team. His technique is 14, his first touch is 14 already at this young age, his flair is 15 and his acceleration is 14 as well. In at number 18 Florent De Silva, available for around three million quid at the start of the game. Comfortable playing centre midfield, comfortable playing attacking centre midfield field as well. The 19 year old Frenchman has a fairly determined personality and again is described as an attacking midfielder by the media. Really good attributes here, corners, crossing, first touch, passing, technique, natural fitness, good mentality, determination and flair as well. And when we look under the bonnet we can see he's got a fairly consistent performer attribute here which is great and he's fairly adaptable as well when it comes to living in another country. Next we've got Alex Scott, one of the most exciting young English players in the game this year. He's 19 years old playing at Bristol City, you can pick him up for around 10 million quid and he's really good. Great mentals already at 19, pretty decent physically and technically as well, fairly loyal in terms of personality and described again as an attacking midfielder. No real standout pros or cons when we look at our scout report but my scout is telling me he's like an A star or an A minus sorry signing here for my Brentford team. Next we got Theo a French 20 year old balanced personality midfielder who you can pick up for around 3 million quid from the Real Madrid B team. Really good technically and mentality as well like Flair 16 is really really good at this age. Vision 14, jumping reach 15, natural fitness 14 as well. Amazing Flair, amazing vision, amazing technique. I'm sure he's going to flourish into a really good attacking midfielder. Looking under the bonnet on this particular save, he still needs to do some work in terms of consistency, but does have no problem adapting when it comes to living in another country. And our genie in the bottle at number 15 is Brandon Aguilera. This Costa Rican 19 year old has a balanced personality and again is described as an attacking midfielder. Can play on the right side as well as really comfortable at the center of the park, potentially Personally, I probably wouldn't play him on the wings because of the lack of pace. No real massive pros or cons, really, when it comes to the scouting report. And with a height of five foot six, I'd probably avoid playing him in the middle of the park as well. But let me know down below. What would you do? Stanis Edumbo Mazumbo is mobile. His agility is 15 on his... <laughs> can't believe I did that. Mazumbo Mobile, right? Get it? He's an attacking midfielder, naturally. He's got a resolute personality and is described as an attacking midfielder. This 17 year old Belgian player could go on to be absolutely insane in Football Manager. He's a fairly consistent performer already at that young age, but does have a fairly susceptible nuss to injuries as well. It's definitely something worth checking out before you shell the 8.25 million that you'd be expected to pay to get Mazumbo Mobile into your team. In at number 13 is Bazia, and what I love about Bazia is the fact he's got a long shot 16 in this save, right? It's a great attribute to have when you're playing in that position of the pitch because obviously you're gonna be in the right position to be taking shots from outside the box. He's also got flair of 15, technique of 12, natural fitness of 15, etc. Pick him up for around five million quid, but he is fairly susceptible to injuries in this save and should have a bit more consistency, really, hopefully. I mean, Abdul Altara is a balanced personality, 16 year old, Ivorian, balanced, promising attacking midfielder. 15 decisions already, which is an excellent attribute to have in this position. 15 technique and 15 dribbling as well. You'll pick him up for absolute pennies at the start of the game, probably about a million pounds. And look how consistent he is. Look at that. He's got 15 out of 20 in his consistency attribute on this save. And again, that is variable, but is good. Anthony Milambo next and this Dutch 17 year old wonder kid is available for around 6 million quid at the start of the game. I love the fact he's got pass in 16 right because that's a crucial stat to have in that position obviously. He's also got flair 15, first touch 14 and work rate of 15 as well which potentially for me means you could probably experiment with playing him a little bit further back on the pitch. Reports wise fairly consistent performer which is very very good and is an A signing 
for my Brentford team here. In at number 10 is Luke Harris, this 17-year-old Welsh wonder kid is fairly determined and is described by the media rather boringly again as an attacking midfielder. And what's he good at? Well, he's good at finishing already at the age of 17. He's good at long shots here in this particular save anyway. He's got great decisions, which again, as we said, is crucial and he's good at accelerating. Plays for Fulham might cost you upwards of 10 million quid though at the start of the game. So there's something to consider. In at number nine is Nikola Ilyev. This 18 year old Bulgarian one kid will cost you just a couple of million pound at the start of the game and should turn out to be world world class already dribbling of 14 and technique of 14 as well as all the other attributes where you would kind of expect them to be with someone who plays this position and has this potential and also is a fairly consistent performer already at this young age in at number eight pablo Torre, he has a potential ability of 158 on this particular save and my word look how good this spanish 19 year old player already looks now there's an argument to say that Reese potentially he isn't a hidden gem because he plays for Barcelona but he's only played one appearance for Barcelona right it's according to football manager he's playing at Santander before that where to be fair he did make 31 appearances and the season before 24 appearances scoring four goals and 10 goals but yeah what's great about Toure apart from the fact that he's got like amazing stats here in this particular save anyway he only cost you about five million quid at the start of the game which is insanely good value he's a fairly consistent performer the only problem is maybe he won't want to come to your club right because he's already playing at Barcelona good luck let me know if you sign this player Marco Birkja next I'm hoping that's how you pronounce it I mean he's an 18 year old Croatian again with a balanced personality and a media description of attacking midfielder what is he good at well he's very agile and he's got great natural fitness not two attributes which always go hand in hand but definitely two which will complement each other right he's also a flair player who's going to have great technique and dribbling ability with all that natural fitness comes a very consistent performer attribute here in fact if i quickly show you his attribute for consistency it's 20 out of 20 pick him up for around 2 million quid bargain Lazar Smardic is the only player in the list today that has a fixed potential ability and that fixed potential ability is 163 out of 200 so not too bad right we can see dribbling first touch already at 15 which is insane and passing and technique 15 right so you can see that he's going to be really really good he's 20 years old already described as a fairly ambitious attacking midfielder and is already showing signs of being a fairly consistent performer but look out could also be fairly susceptible to injuries. About 19 million pounds you'll get this guy for up front at the start of the game. In at number five is Vasco Souza. The 19 year old Portuguese won the kid with a balanced personality, again described as an attacking midfielder, has great dribbling, first touch passing and technique again, but also has a monster mentality. Flair 16, determination here 14, composure and decisions 13, vision 15, and he's not too bad in terms of physical either. Rated as an A signing here for my Brentford team, would likely encounter problems adapting when it comes to living in another country and would be available for around 10 million pounds. Next, we got Reina. This Brazilian wonder kid seems to have been around for ages, but he still is popping up. Dribbling, finishing, first touch, passing, technique. He's going to be insane, right? I'm sure he's been like developing into a world-class player for the past two or three football manager games. Reports-wise, fairly consistent performer already, balanced to normal personality, but he'll cost you a pretty penny, £46 million asking price at the start of the game. And he's playing for Real Madrid and he's out on loan, right? So probably not someone who you're going to go for straight away. Keep an eye on him for later on. In at number three, Takahuro Naki, someone who we've managed to sign for our Watford Wonder Kids team that's live on twitch twitch.tv forward slash fmwkds and he's very very good again a real madrid b team player dribbling 15 first touch 14 here passing 14 technique 15 flair determination natural fitness all in the green pick him up for around 10 million quid i mean our watford team put most of that on installments he's a fairly consistent performer but could have a problem with injuries I mean, for some players, you'll take that, right? In at number two is Luis Gilherme. This left-footed, balanced personality, promising attacking midfielder has a potential ability on this save of 180. Now, that is right at the top of his range. He might be a little bit worse in your save, but he definitely isn't going to be better, right? He's only 16, so his attributes do need a little bit of work, to say the least, but he's really versatile. He's really fast 
and again, has huge, huge potential. Pick him up for around six million quid at the start of the game, and you've got yourself a potential worldly. In at number one today, another player that we've signed for, Watford Wonder Kids over on Twitch, it's Julian Jean. Guerrero. Potential ability in this save of around 166 and I believe he's got the same range as Gilhemi who we just spoke about right so could hit 180 in your saves and he really does perform straight away. Dribbling 14, finishing 13, first touch 13, free kick taking 14 at 18 years old, passing 14, technique 13, vision 15, flair 16, decisions 14, bravery 14, natural fitness 15, he's left footed, he's an attacking midfielder with a balanced personality according to the media and look at this very consistent performer his attribute for consistency in this particular save is 18 that's the highest of anybody on this list pick him up for around 8 million quid at the start of the game this is your entire list complete with potential ability asking price and the key underlying hidden attributes feel free to pause the video write them down if you want to download the shortlist hit the join button down below everyone who joins as a member has access to every single shortlist so do all the patrons if you liked this video please click on this video here thank you so much for watching please hit like and subscribe by the way see you soon